What's up guys, it's Mitchell Aditi, and today we're gonna to be getting into day six of the guide. So day six of the guide, all we're gonna be doing is clearing chapter two. So I'm gonna be showing you guys clearing chapter two, other things you'd be working on, and it's gonna be a pretty simple day. So the biggest thing is just go in and make sure you're going through adventure. I'm gonna give you a couple things to make sure you're doing. So go through and make sure you're clearing all of this. Uh, you can go through and also do the side portions. So all these extra stages on the side, when you do these, you're gonna be getting some extra resources. You'll be getting mystic medals for my Luna and things like that. So, and you get a ton of sky stones for doing this. So go through and make sure you do this for every chapter. I'll show you what my team currently looks like. So after clearing Wyvern yesterday, you should be putting your gear back on your regular characters and continually farming unrecorded history. Anytime you don't know what to do in the game, just have this auto battling and you're making progress. So that's the best thing I, advice I can give. Just always have unrecorded history going for yourself. So Emma Luna, if any of you are watching at the current time of the guide, she is out. Um, we are gonna be using all of our summons on her that we get. If we get her cool, if we don't, oh well, we're closer to the next ML5. That's the cool thing about pity within uh, Mystic Banners is the pity carries over so you see our pity from last character i haven't done any moonlight unis or luna summons and this carries over so if you look we could wait till next week there's euphine next week but this artifact is better plus there's tiger hell's book on this so this is actually a really good week to summon you just hope you don't get a little bit <laughs> a little bit's not very good maybe one day she'll get buffed and be decent but <clears throat> we'll go ahead and do our four summons see if we get any luck here doesn't look like it we would love to get tiger hell's Love to get Taga Hells. Or not. That's fine. Okay. But we're going to be getting a ton of Mystic Metals uh, over the next little bit. I'll be showing you guys how to get a bunch um, in the next few videos. So those are the first things we work on. Second, make sure you're still doing your arena. Go in and do your arena. And then also make sure you're going in and burning your uh, Labyrinth tokens. So as you see, I need to go and burn my Labyrinth tokens today. We are at cap. Another thing that you can start doing is going to be uh your abyss try to clear further into abyss now that your team's strong you should be able to get further this is what the team currently looks like that we were pushing story i actually put angelica on my team instead of raz because angelica's gear is upgraded more she's tankier she'll survive more um whereas raz's gear wasn't fully upgraded and i haven't six starred him yet so you can use either one i think if you use your wide and front tank whatever it is you're probably going to be able to beat chapter two easier so just go ahead and throw that on whether it's a knight or whoever it doesn't whoever you chose for your wide and front tank it's already six starred um other than that i did boost up my free switch area all the way up my specter receiver needs one more awakening i am going to do that and i can now skill up her so uh, make sure you do all your challenges. I'll show that. But you're going to want a plus 15, your Spectre Tenebria. This is super worth it to do early game. So go in and start working on this. And then next up, the next character to, to do some skill ups on is going to be your Tamarin. Tamarin, the first thing you want to do is do this. Get the skill cooldown. Second off, you can do some of this. Um, you don't have to do it all the way. It is a lot of uh, resources. I don't think I'm going to do it at all on my account. But... Uh, the more you do into this, the better off you're going to be. You get more combat readiness push. It just makes her better. You don't need to put any into skill one, though. Don't put any Molugora here. So no skill ups on skill one. But other than that, it's just Spectre to be upgraded. And then uh, the gear on these characters, let me show the overall gear that we are looking at. So I went ahead and just took some of the gear that was on Cigarette and put it on her. Once you do more of your Labyrinths, you can upgrade with charms on these and level her up even more, get her stronger. Um, one thing is you do need to watch the bulk, so upgrading the helmet and chest, you need to start working on that too, because as you get further in story, things start hitting harder. So this is just to be the spec tenny for now. We will be changing all these characters once we hit chapter two, but this gear should clear us through chapter two. And then here is the uh, free spirit area. So this should be everything we need. Hopefully you can buy EEs at this point, but uh, unfortunately, while I'm recording this guide series, part of the reason I'm taking it slow-ish uh, is because we are stuck. We cannot do Hall of Trials. So I could do all this, get a couple uh, rewards, but then we're going to be stuck at the Hall of Trials. So if you're playing without uh, the Hall of Trials locked, it opens up in two days. Um, say you're following this guide a week from now, two months from now, it doesn't matter. Um, you can clear this and start making sure you're working on this. That is something you can do. But one other thing that I want you guys to be making sure you're working on is going to be the adventure for new air. So I actually need to go beat episode one, one again of chapter two, and I need to go through and beat all this. And as you spend your AP, it counts toward these missions. So I do need to go beat this and then also finish your Molagora challenge. Once you reach level 50, 
um, you'll be able to. So I'm going to finish the Mulligore challenge. I'm going to do a couple things before I come back at the end of chapter two to show being the boss and show what all progression I've made. But these are the main things to focus on. Um, other than that, that's really it. So just go work on all those missions. Um, also make sure that you claimed all your other things. Your Arcade seven day growth guide since we're on day six. I'll claim day six of stuff here. And then this will give a few extra charms and some things. If you guys are running out of stamina and you've already used your leaf, so always use your leaf first. And then once you have used your leaves, then you can start using, uh, what is this? It's five star already. I have four days left. We'll do this tomorrow. Um, once you have used all of your leaves and are out of stamina, you can use your sky stones for stamina. I always suggest new players use at least a little bit of your sky stones for stamina, a couple thousand. You get so many for free. The more you use of this, the more progression you'll make to stabilize your account and make you more likely to stick with the game. So by burning a couple thousand sky stones, you're going to be weeks ahead of where you would be if you didn't do that, meaning that you're going to be able to climb higher in arena and do things that you wouldn't be able to normally do. Um, so it's the more you put into it early, it does end up being pretty rewarding. A lot of people tell you don't burn sky stones, but the amount that you get just from the first couple thousand you burn is going to give you a huge progression boost. So as long as you're not burning them and doing anything dumb. So if you're farming Wyvern 10, then that's dumb to burn your sky stones. So you should only be farming Wyvern 13, but you, but if you're following my guide, you shouldn't be worrying about that. I maybe shouldn't have even said that. Uh, we're not even going to start farming Wyvern for another probably week from right now. Uh, we're just going to continue pushing story, getting all the free stuff we can. Um, and going along those lines. One other thing to make sure you're doing is buying your pet tickets. So if it is a new week, depending on when you started, you wanna buy these out every single week. So yes, my gold looks low, but as you guys saw in the other videos, buy all this too. Uh, I showed you how to get gold. It's super easy. You just go and trade your stigma in. So as you see, we're always farming stigma. I have 100K there. That's like close to 8 million, I think, gold that we could go get right now if we needed it. So uh, this is either used for six starring characters or buying penguins, selling penguins for gold. So that's all I have. Like I said, it's going to be a super easy video. I will show you how to beat the boss at the end of the chapter, but I'm going to go ahead out and start farming. If I think of anything else along the way, I'll tell you at the beginning whenever I start recording again. And uh, But for right now, currently I'm on chapter seven, so I'm going to start grinding through this. And I, hopefully I gave you guys enough stuff to work on that you should be... Uh, busy until <laughs> busy until the next episodes of the guide are out. But the more you, again, the more you farm on recorded history, I'm telling you, the happier you're going to be. If you farmed a million stigma, you would be very happy you did so. You never can farm enough of this. But okay, I will be back shortly. Okay, guys, so you should have cleared through all of chapter two all the way up to the final boss. If you had any issues with that, anytime you do... <clears throat> you should just go in and upgrade your gear a little bit and you should be able to beat it on full auto, no issues at all. So Tamron, you can do the next awakening on her to get a little bit more stat if you would like. So now that we are to this portion though, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna boost up Tamron a little bit. <clears throat> the, we need as much bulk as we can get on her. So let's just go to plus 12 on these pieces for now. If you guys have been farming more than me, I've been playing this super casually just cause I don't wanna get way ahead of everybody. Um, I don't want you guys to feel like you're far, far behind trying to follow me. So you shouldn't be at this point. If you started when I started the guide series, you're probably like, where's the next video? Um, I, I'm aware that I'm trying. I have a lot of stuff going on right now. We're trying our best to keep up. Um, but th th today I'm recording multiple episodes of the video. So <clears throat> you guys should have content for the next little bit. So we're going to upgrade that. So our, this is what our Tamarind looks like. I am going to upgrade the neck a little bit as well. Um, so we're 9-9. Nine, nine. And uh, I guess I guess I'll put this 12. I'll just put all the resource I can into it. Um, we're, I mean, these are n never bad pieces to upgrade. And then I'll just throw that in there. doesn't really matter. All right, well, it's going to lag. So we're going to go try to beat the boss. If we have any issues, that means we need to stop. We need to go do our labyrinth entries, trade in the charms to upgrade this right side gear. And then uh, we need to farm under court history to farm or to level up all our left side gear. So that is going to be the play. Um, I might pause the video right now, now that we're to this point. Okay, well, we lost connection to the server. Nice. Um, <clears throat> get back in here <laughs> that doesn't happen often and it's super annoying when it does I don't know what causes it or why but 
occasionally it will happen if that's happening to you just know it's normal it's not it doesn't happen often to me it's kind of weird that it just happened now but now our characters are upgraded so if you want to see my team i guess i'll show you what all the stats look like so i have free spirits here or our, our we're using our wyvern front tank whoever you pick for wyvern front tank switch out raz for this it'll just make going through the chapter easier so if you're having any troubles with chapter just take the wyvern front tank that we built <clears throat> and put them in that spot. And then next up, we have Free Spirit Tyria. So Free Spirit Tyria, not fully upgraded, but she should work just fine. Now we have our Spectre Tyria. You see, I did plus 12 on all the pieces that I could. Her right side gear could be leveled. If we go do Labyrinth, we could level this. That will help us beat it. And then this was our Tamarin. Okay, so now uh, Tamarin, if you can put Wondrous Potion Vial, so say you got Wondrous Potion Vial, um, let's just sort by grade, you can put that on. So this would be a probably better artifact than this, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use this. This is a free artifact we got, but if you have to put, it doesn't really matter artifact. If you got her artifact, you put it on, uh, but it shouldn't really matter for this whatsoever. She is super squishy. Um, so we may need to go upgrade her. We may need to six star her. Six starring her will boost her stats up tremendously. So there's a bunch of things. I'm gonna try to beat it with the minimum thing possible. If we fail, then we will go and do some upgrades and then come back and try it again. So I actually wouldn't mind failing. So those guys that are struggling with you know it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's not super hard either. So for our support character, I'm just going to use whoever the top guy is. You could add friends. If you add friends with a good support, this will make this fight much easier. But let's go ahead and go in. So one of the biggest things with this is you need to strip. Uh, having strips is a big deal. And I think having immunity will help us a lot. You need cleanse. So that's what our Cameron is for. Um, so we just have to time our Tamarin skills at the right time. But I know a lot of people do struggle with this fight, so I want to make a video pretty much so before this. After we do beat this, there is... Oh, we're on auto. Um, after we do beat this, we will do a... I'll show a couple more things to do and work on, but otherwise there's not a whole lot in this video today. It's just showing you guys how to clear this, and that's basically it. So I'm going to go ahead and kill one of the back lines. Uh, just try to mitigate some of the damage. And then now we'll just attack the back line. I think I want to hit strays as little as possible, right? If you hit strays at all, isn't it? Doesn't he get combat readiness? Let's see. No, he doesn't get combat readiness. Okay. I think he cleanses the beginning of every turn, though. So you can just be... Yeah, he does. He cleanses the beginning of every turn, so that is a little tough. Um, and you see my Tamarin is taking a ton of damage. So if we get unlucky and Tamarin dies, we just have to restart. It's not a big deal. Um, but... Having the second healer here will help us a ton. So now we'll just go ahead. I guess I'll click strays. Um, so it's if you don't crit him, I guess he boosts. That's probably it if you don't crit him. I don't know mechanics of this fight, but if you watch this, you should be able to. All right, they keep attacking Tamarin. This is pretty unlucky. Um, it's pretty unlucky. So he's at three. I'm just going to go ahead and put this up now. Uh, we might <clears throat> decide to use our things at different times. But for right, the biggest thing right now is we're just trying to build up souls the best that we can. So Tamarin is one turn away from Transform. Okay, so this is going to... Okay, so we have Tamarin to Transform, so it's not a big deal. I'm just going to click S2. This gives a little heal. I crit everything um, there with a Blind. That's funny. But we Transform. This is why you need Cleanse, though. So you need to make sure Tamarin is Molded. Um, for this hit, actually, I'm going to try to strip him. So there we go, we stripped him, and that's going to allow us to actually deal damage to him. That's one of the big important things of this fight. Um, I'm going to not attack him because I think he gets boosted if you don't crit him. I'm not going to soul burn yet. I'm just going to go ahead and hit him again. And then uh, I guess we'll get the damage while we can. I'll go ahead and hit him here. And then the bad thing is poison. I don't think actually works on him because at the beginning of his turn, he just cleanses it off. So poison, uh, we'll see in a second. I'll save my heal on her, and then we get one more hit. I actually think he goes into second mode. Oh, I didn't crit. Okay, maybe you won't. All right, we have to hit him one more time, which kind of sucks. Um, but we do have one more Tamarin S1 here. So we Tamarin S1, he probably goes into second form here. Yeah, so he goes into sickle mode. So this portion of the fight is referred to as sickle mode. And you take a good amount of damage, but we did save our heals. We'll go ahead and S2. This gives us a little heal. And then we did save our heal here. We need to make sure to keep Tamarin alive. But like I said, if Tamarin is dying, just go and... Um, Tamarin is dying, just go and six-star her. Uh, you have the stigma for it. You guys know how to do six stars at this point. So you should be fine. So right here, every time we don't crit him, I think he gets CR push. 
Um, so I don't know how many times I want to attack. Let's look at our skills. I don't have Tamarin. I do have Angelica S3. So I have Angelica S3. I'm just going to Arky here. Not the best use of Arky, but this way he doesn't get any boost and we do break his barrier. Um, from right here, I'll just click skill 3. There's no point to try to poison him. So if we hit here, it'll be good damage. We don't. We did hit. That's actually big. We almost killed him already. So we have to S1 here. Yeah, every time you don't crit him. So the bad thing is we are unbuffabled, but this will still give us heal. It doesn't give us shield, but this will at least keep us alive. So then we take an S1 here, and then he's got his buffs again, so this part is a little annoying. Just don't use any soul burns for the rest of this, and if you have to, you should be able to Arky probably from this position. But we are into Tamarin, so now that we're back into Tamarin, this is why I have all you guys get Tamarin. Without Tamarin, this fight is annoying. But you just click S1. If as long as it strips, you're good. Okay, so now we win. It's that easy. So any of you that are struggling, that's what you do. Getting Tamarin. Always have you guys get Tamarin at the beginning of the game because it just makes that fight super, super easy. So that is chapter two. Okay. So tomorrow I have an idea of what all we're going to do. I'm going to have you setting up teams because we're going to go and try to beat Banshee and Golem and start working on getting all of that free stuff that we can. We're also going to be opening a new challenge. Uh, that gives a ton of super good gear. It gives a ton of everything. So the sooner you unlock that challenge, the better. But for right now, what I want you guys to do is today, make sure you burn all your stuff, okay? We also unlock Moonlight Theater. All right, there's a couple of things we're going to cover. Moonlight Theater, you can go in and to unlock your Moonlight Blessing Summon 2. There's another Moonlight Blessing, okay? And we're going to start working on that. Look at all the free Moonlight Theaters you get. So if you go here, I actually think you can watch these for free. So you can watch any of these for free on the furthest chapter right now, or some of them for free. But in the Fallen Lands, you want to watch all of this. But you get 50 Mystic Medals per. So as you see here, you get 14 plus 15. That's 30. Sorry. 29. And then you go here and you open this. You can get six more. That's 35. You go here, this is 7, that's 42, 48, 50. And then here, you go up to 56, and then watching this, I think you watch four chapters right now, you can get 60 Moonlight Summons, okay? And you can do all of that in one day. So 60 Moonlight Summons for Luna, that's a lot. And the reason that we do this is because the faster you do this, the faster you get your second Moonlight 5. So you don't have to. The way this works is you can watch one per week for free. Okay, that's what you get. You get one for one per week for free. Okay, if you did pull any of these characters, you'll get an additional one. But you have the ability to just click up here and you can just buy tickets. Okay, you can just buy tickets. So, yes, the tickets are expensive. Yes, you're going to spend millions of gold to do this, but these millions of gold you spend is super worth it. Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to watch them at Moonlight Theater. This is something you can work on. This is why I have you farm a ton of unrecorded history. So if you come in here, again, make sure your thing is 313. So as long as you're 313 at the bottom left, then you can go in here and you can start, you can start making penguins. Okay, so this is how you're going to get the gold to watch all this. You farm unrecorded history. You come in here, you get the gold, you spend it, you watch it, and then you have a chance to get Maluna. You get a bunch of summons, and this is what you can work on. You want to to at least the first chapters of Moonlight Theater, okay? So you come in here, you make penguins, and then you go in here, you click up here, and then you go to Enhancement Ingredients, Arrange, click this, and then you sell your penguins, and you get a ton of gold. So there's two million gold right there. That, I mean, I had some penguins already sitting there, obviously. I didn't just get two million for the little bit I did. You, you don't get infinite gold, but getting gold in the Epic 7 is very easy. So that couple million gold I got right there, that could buy us just more tickets. So the reason you're doing this is because there is a second Moonlight uh, Blessing. So once you finish your first Moonlight Blessing, which we've already done, I just haven't claimed it yet. Once you finish this, you'll get your Spectre Chamber fully unlocked. You have this character. There's no restrictions placed on them anymore. You just treat them as a normal character on your account. So now the next thing is going to be your next Moonlight Blessing. Okay, you can use this feature after watching all of Moonlight Theater's Fallen Land Season 2. So I'm going to make a video as to who the best characters are to pick on this. Okay, there's a lot of options now. Before I had you guys pick Meteor Cowric. Now there's like five options that you could pick and it's just up to you which one you want. So I will have a video on who to pick from this and I, I will explain each one and let you guys make your decision. There's a bunch of good characters. Death Deal Ray is the character I've been telling everyone to get. He's still the best, even with everything going on right now, with the other characters getting buffed. If you're going to play this game for PvP, Death Deal Ray is the best. 
But if you're going to play for PvE, Conqueror, Lilies, or Ren of Violet's the best. But now we also have the option to get Sylvan Sage Vivian, and she looks de pretty decent. We don't know how good she'll be until we test her. And then there's also Meteor Cowork still. Meteor Cowork right now is actually really good that Midnight Luna came out. Um, he is a character that you can kind of pick into her. It's not insanely good, but it's not terrible. So there's five different characters that are pretty solid. Um, so go and use your gold and watch all of the first two chapters of Moonlight Blessing. So it's the first 29 stories. So if you take 29 and divide it by two, um, it is going to be 14.5 million gold, I think, right? 14.5 million gold, I think it is. Something like that. It's like 14 million gold to watch all of it. So you need to go farm on Recorded History to get that. So I am going to do a couple Mystic Summons, though, for fun. Uh, we got these from the Daily Logins. I'm hoping we get Luna, but the thing is, watching all of those stories, if you do decide to farm enough Unrecorded History to go through, you get 60 summons for her. And if you are not, say Moonlight Luna, if you're watching this guide later and Moonlight Luna's not on, you get 60 summons to go for whatever character's on banner if you want to or not, or you can do them and hold them until there's a character you want. So that is, when you start a new account, you get a ton of Mystic Medals. You get over half of a pity for free just at the beginning of the game. And over half a pity, there's a pretty solid chance that you might get lucky. <laughs> Pretty solid chance that you might. Okay, so that's what you're going to work on. Again, um, also be working on this. You want to make sure you finish all of this. So if you need to put your gear back on Wyvern, I accidentally took my gear off. I forgot to farm this. So I have to go put my gear back on Wyvern and just do Wyvern 11. I'm not going to do 13. But we're just going to go clear that. And then we're going to do Expedition two times. I will show that uh, in the next video once I unlock some Expeditions. So that will be in part seven of the guide. Part seven is kind of more like an overview, but giving you guys the next things to do. Part eight will be fully clearing either Banshee or Golem, one of the two. I haven't decided yet. But go into here. Make sure that you've claimed all your Arky seven-day growth stuff, okay? Um, now that we're on day six, I can claim this. All right, so we got, I mean, that artifact, I don't think I'll ever use it. But uh, we're going to claim all our day seven stuff. Uh, we do need to do Automaton Tower for this. So if you want to do Automaton Tower, you can today. But push as high as you can into Abyss before you start Automaton Tower. Make sure you're still collecting all this stuff daily. Um, and then your third hero promotions, make sure you're grabbing these every time. And your hunt challenges, what we're going to be doing, I did do all the awakenings I need to. Hunt challenge, what I want you guys to do is go and start the Banshee challenge. So go and clear Banshee 7. Just use the same story team that's on my screen right now. And you can beat up to Banshee 7 and then beat Banshee 7 20 times, get the cold looks, and get some more uh, Spirit Blooms. And you get Vivian. And we're going to lock Vivian. We need Vivian for a couple pieces of content. Okay. So Vivian is a character we'll all have, and we're all going to use her. Just five. You don't need a six star. Just leave her at five star. She should work fine for that. But we will all be using Vivian. Um, next up, the Adventure to New Heirs. You can go in. Make sure you clear this. I need to go and work on this actually today too. And then the other thing to make sure that you have finished. You don't have to do all this, by the way. You can skip out on this. Um, but go in and do all the side stories and quests for Chapter 2. And uh, do the AP exchange trade-ins. You do not need to trade in for any of the gear. Okay, all of this gear, you don't need to trade it in. Or I wouldn't trade in for any of it. But buy the Breath of Orbices if you can. That gives you something to work toward. But make sure you're doing the challenges because you have to spend so much AP to unlock different things in those challenges. So for, since that challenge is locked for me, I have to go back and beat chapter one here. But now you want to make sure everything has a green check mark next to it with a full bar or like the full bar green check mark. So I need to go through and do all of these stages and try to get the green bar check mark next to it. That's going to give me a ton of sky stones, going to give me a ton of extra other rewards and stuff. Um, but and then the AP exchanges just go in and try to clear all the AP exchanges you can. So uh, one thing is make sure if it has a highlighted thing next to it, go and click it just to start the request. Because if you don't start the request, anything you do doesn't count for the challenges. So make sure that all of these are clicked before you go start doing stuff or else you're going to end up having to do extra stuff over again. So this is a big thing that will take you quite a bit of time to do. But if you do it now, you'll be happy that you don't have to worry about doing it later. I, it took me years to go back and finally do this on my account. So, but these uh, Breath of Orbuses, make sure you get them. I will give you guys where to put all the Breath of Orbuses. I've already kind of told you, but I will give you the thing to know that you're putting them all in the right spot. I'll show an overview of that. But that is one thing to work on. And then also Abyss. Try to get to at least Abyss stage 63. Okay, if you get stuck on 63, I'll be showing you a team of how to beat this tomorrow. Okay, so in day seven guide, I'll give you a team to beat this. But unlock Vivian, get to stage 63 of this, 
if you can right now clear all of this, I'm stuck on this. But if you do have Hall of Trials, you can just go through and clear all of this. But I'm going to be stuck at Hall of Trials anyway. And again, make sure to burn your arena tokens. Also, you can buy arena stuff every day from here. I'm going to do a day. Tomorrow's beginning of the video will be a daily login routine to get into. So day seven, I'll show you all the stuff to do every day as a free-to-play player to get the most out of the game. That is the start of it. And then we'll do some other stuff past that. But after, after that, again, uh, you can do your automaton tower. But before you do Automaton Tower, try to make sure you get to at least 460, okay? So the minimum for the first one, just get to 460 and then do it. If you want to wait to get to 80, you can, but it's fine. Once you beat this, you can just do this anyway uh, the next time it comes around. So just depends on how you're feeling. If you want to just go in and clear this, you do get decent rewards from it. Uh, this gear is T78. You don't really want to mess with it, but you could get an effectiveness ring from this technically to try to build a Wyvern team, uh, build your Wyvern team, but I don't think we need it. So this, you just let it sit in your inventory. You don't need to mess with it for right now. Um, the, the, it, it, you get decent gear once you get higher level, like this T88. There's a chance this is super usable, but this lower tier gear, I don't like having you guys put resources into it. It feels really bad. But other than that, that's it. That's all there is to work on. Um, I have nothing else that you have to do today, but go start clearing all the stuff I told you. Maiden things, unlock Vivian, and Abyss six, get to Abyss 63. 63, a lot of you will probably struggle, and I'll just show you an easy way to beat it tomorrow. But that's it. That's this episode, guys. Sorry for taking so long. Um, there will be a lot of stuff in tomorrow's, but it's there's a lot of stuff, but not a lot of stuff. And then day eight through ten, I'm gonna start mixing multiple days together. Okay, but I'm gonna try to work a couple days ahead today. So those of you guys that have been waiting for me, they should come out fast from here. I don't have as much stuff on my plate, so sorry for taking a while. Hope this guide is still helping you, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Peace out.